After two years and three seasons, it's time for the hit Hulu television series Love, Victor to come to an end. Over that short amount of time, fans have absolutely fallen in love with the series' lead star, Michael Cimino. They might not have known who this young kid was at the start of the series, but they sure do now. Throughout three seasons, Michael played the main character, Victor Salazar, a young man trying to navigate his own sexual identity while also carving a life out for himself in a brand new city. In a lot of ways, this is a story that reflected Michael's own life except for one important difference. Michael is a straight man and his casting ruffled a few feathers to say the least. But Michael wasn't about to let death threats stop him from telling a story he thought was important and spreading the power of inclusivity as far as he possibly could. So if you want to know more about Michael Simino's life and rise to fame, then stay tuned because we'll get into all of that and more here for you on Famous Life. Michael Cimino was born on November 10, 1999 in the city of Las Vegas, Nevada to his father Philip, who is of Italian and German ancestry, and his mother Deb, who is of Puerto Rican descent. Coming from a diverse background, Michael has had plenty of experience with racism growing up, especially in the schoolyard. When speaking with IndieWire about some of his memories, he would tell them. All the little kids in elementary school used to be like, oh, he eats bugs because he's brown. They used to throw me on the floor and kick me. It's made me who I am today. And in a way, I'm kind of glad I faced that adversity at a young age because it gave me the tools to understand these problems, to have sympathy and to have compassion. While learning important life lessons as a very young kid, Michael would kick off his journey with acting at just 12 years old. That's when he was discovered by an industry manager eating at a subway of all places. This guy signed Michael up for some acting lessons and became so impressed by with what he saw that he took Michael on as a client. At the time, Michael was still too young to drive, so he would have his mom shuttle him back and forth between Las Vegas and LA every time he had an audition. He did that for a number of years and would book a few gigs like a Geico commercial, but he didn't land anything too big. Not yet. Around the age of 13, Michael realized that acting was truly what he wanted to do, so he began shifting around his priorities. In the 8th grade, he switched over to online courses because he knew that would allow him to graduate faster. Three years later, Michael had earned his high school diploma and began working with his father full-time doing electrical work, pursuing his goal of acting on the side. After two years spent grinding away, traveling from Vegas to Los Angeles for every audition, Michael had had enough of the commune and went all in on his acting career by saving up $3,000 and moving to LA. He found a two bedroom home with five people sharing it and moved right in. Eventually, five people turned into six and six turned into eight. By the time he was finished living there, Michael says 10 others were sharing this tiny two bedroom apartment. Why were there so many people living in one small place? Well, that's probably because Michael wasn't really working, as he explained to Hero Magazine. I was under the impression if you wanted to be an actor, you couldn't have a normal job, which is a total misconception, so I was just eating rice and beans for three months. Eventually, Michael grew tired of his boring cuisine and being broke all the time, so he got a job working nights at a restaurant called Saddle Ranch where he was the mechanical bull operator. The one thing Michael really remembers about his time there that he had to wear a lot of flannel. Thankfully, he wouldn't have to do it for long. He'd only worked there a few months before his big break in Hollywood would come knocking at his door. Prior to 2019, Michael had appeared in a few random projects like CBS's short-lived series Training Day. But not long after beginning to work the night shift at Saddle Ranch, he finally booked his first big time gig as Bob Palmieri in the 2019 horror film Annabelle Comes Home. As the seventh film in the long running and extremely popular Conjuring series, this was an excellent opportunity for Michael to make an impression on the industry and he did just that. In fact, not long after the release of that film, he'd book his breakthrough role as the character in the television series Love, Victor. Inspired by the 2018 film Love, Simon, which grossed enough money at the box office to indicate to network execs that a television series could be equally as lucrative, Love, Victor was set in the same universe as the original film and premiered on Hulu in June of 2020, where it quickly became the most watched drama on the streaming platform during its first week of release. 
The series is centered around a diverse group of high school students who are all striving to come to terms with their identity in a world that's not always so interested in embracing change. The central storyline circling around the romantic relationship between Michael's character, Victor, and his love interest, Benji, played by George Sear. And while the series largely received heaps of praise upon its release, Michael's experience was a little more complicated. As a straight actor playing a character exploring his sexuality, not everyone was receptive to his casting, and he'd have to deal with some pretty extreme hate emanating from the LGBTQ community. He told Altitude, I've had death threats, which is horrible, but the show is important to me. The messages of hate, I came into it knowing that would happen regardless of how good I was. What he didn't expect was receiving hateful comments from people closer to home. When he was initially offered the role, Michael was counseled by members of his own family not to take the job out of a fear that Michael would be typecast as a gay actor. He explained, I was told that if I play a gay character, I'll only ever get cast as gay. I was told to have to ask for more masculine work. They're basically trying to make me someone that I wasn't. Thankfully, Michael also chose to ignore that advice. Instead, he sat down with his cousin who shared his own experience as a gay man with Michael to help him give his performance the necessary authenticity. Michael explained, I asked him about his story and how it affected him, and we kind of went on a deep dive into what affected him in what ways, so in the end, we kind of based Victor on my cousin because I wanted to represent his struggle. But just as Michael was experiencing more success he ever had before, the world shut down and brought everything to a halt. Right after Michael finished shooting the first season of Love, Victor, the world entered the pandemic. Thankfully, the series' initial numbers were so good that a second season was quickly ordered. In the meantime, Michael had started to find something to do, so he chose to focus on activism by starting We The Movement, an organization established to encourage inclusivity, community, and address systemic injustices. He also had enough downtime to work on a side passion, music. As someone who's dabbled in the art form for a while now, Michael knows he still hasn't found his own distinct style and voice, but he's released a number of songs to this point, including the track Everything I Own, which was part of the Annabelle Comes Home soundtrack, along with others like Love Addict. As for the messages he wishes to spread, not only with his activism, but also with the choices he makes and roles he accepts, Michael simply hopes to inspire those people searching to find their own identity and play some small part in helping overcome that struggle. He told Forbes, It takes time. It took Victor a whole three seasons to figure that out. If you never stop growing, you're doing something wrong. It's always a constant evolution. With season three of Love, Victor being the show's final season, Michael will now turn his sights towards new projects. Not only was he recently seen in the Rebel Wilson Netflix film Senior Year, but he's also set to voice the character of Kevin in the upcoming Disney series Hamster and Gretel. In other words, don't expect Michael Cimino to go anywhere anytime soon, regardless of what other people might say or think about him. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Famous Life and drop a comment for who you'd like us to feature next.